Part two! Oh, we've, we have established a connection. We have scouted out much of the south. Now we must look to our north. And find what hideous things are there to kill the units we have given funny names to. Indeed. Put that there. That should be good. Damn aliens with their self-repairing houses. Heroes are so good, the Wizard of Suck is paying so much dividends. <laughs> hmm. This desert city isn't much good for food, but I should really start trying to turn it into a town for tanks. Because when the guards get their tank game going, it's... Oof. Oh. Ah. You know what I just noticed, Pank? What did you just notice? You haven't named your Chapalan. I have not, yeah, he's blank. What do I and mean? you haven't named your Fortress of Redemption either. You're slipping. I can name the Fortress of Redemption? Of course you can. I can. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I guess building out on minerals, you could say it's the House of Rock. Whoa. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of minerals, actually. Wow! <laughs> so many. Let's see. I'm actually going to call this fortress Snow Patrol. Puffer <laughs> <Huffer> teacher! <laughs> Good lord! Oh, by the way, that thing that we took ten minutes, you know, ten turns to kill, that bastion. Yeah. I can probably, after I'm done researching Labor Corps, I can research it where my settlers can plant those myself. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I might be looking into that soon. Hmm. I like it. Sadly, they don't work like your Fortresses of Redemption, though. They don't contribute resources to my cities. They're just big tower turrets. Oh. Well, considering I get to build multiple cities, it'd be more than a little bit OP if I could cause a 20% income boost in all of them. I see. If I, what if I spell it like this? It, it's Motley Crue, but not. <laughs> <laughs> There's still cultists out there, it looks like. We have not yet finished them. But you know what cultists are real vulnerable to, Pink? No clue. The suck. Oh. Stupid alien house, go away. You're taking up valuable <laughs> real estate. I'm gonna hit it. the magic pixel. Yeah. Watch out, it's gonna make a comeback! <laughs> now,
Now, one thing I do think is really neat about the cities is that they literally get taller the higher the population is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you're going to start seeing that. If memory serves, it can get a bit ridiculous when it gets to really high pop levels and you've expanded the city's borders out really far. Where you can't see the units that are inside the city because the buildings are so big. When they said urban combat was hell, I didn't expect this to be part of it. <laughs> oh! Uh, the cultists have decided that today's choice is to sit on the stinkweed and die. Fair enough. Yeah, you, you, it's your life to live, cultists. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with it. Yeah. Hmm. Do I burn the bees or give them the suck? Oh, burn. Burn good. Burn good. Kamehameha, bitch. Yeah. Goku in the house. I, I, it, it is, I am able to move this turn. I don't know why I was waiting on you. <laughs> the 0 0.1 damage to the two Motley crew there. <laughs> this was not a wise choice. No? Oh boy, I got my first tank commander hero. There's an Umbra out here. I feel like Umbras are bad news. Uh, they are pretty bad, yes. The biggest problem with them, more often than not, is the fact that they fly, so melee units can't hurt them, but neither of us are playing particularly melee heavy races. That is true. Time to choose our research. Melt-a-bomb? Anti-building anti bomb. Ah. Seems like a good idea. Oh, wow, I forgot how good the tank commander is for how early you get him in the game. Just take half the health off of one of those alien buildings with one turn. Oh, man. I'm going to put in a population cap building there, actually. Better go ahead and deal. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put in a loyalty building, because those are even worse to let go, let run, than population cap. I can build a hero, but I choose not to. I'm not building that much influence. Where did these guys even come from? Let's see. I could give those aliens the suck. Or I could finish off the other aliens. Oh, you know what? These guys can finish off. Uh, does Motley Crew have the ability to... Motley Crew only has an attack range of one, doesn't he? Yeah, he's carrying a flamethrower. Good luck thro showing that, throwing that over our range. <laughs> Dude's packing a flamethrower one-handed. What is Motley Crew doing? This is an excellent question. I'm giving those bees the suck. What? What? Wait a second, was that? That can't be right. Oh my god. When the Wizard of yeah. Suck gives the suck, he not just heals himself, he heals near all allies in the immediate vicinity. Oh. 
When I gave those bees the suck, I restored the point one damage that Motley Crue had taken. Oh, man. Not gonna lie, though. I don't care how cool my wizard friend is. If he is ripping blood out of a bee alien's veins and directing it through the air to my mouth, I'm not taking it. I'm gonna <laughs> shut my mouth. I'd have some reservations about it, to be sure. Then again, I feel like I, I, that would just lead to a situation where he's like, oh, open up for the choo-choo train. <laughs> Here comes the plane. <laughs> no, I don't want it. No. Oh, stupid bees. I'm going to light them on fire. That's a good idea. Lighting bees on fire is always a good idea. Uh oh, we got another building tower thing. Bastion, there you go. It's Bastion. Whatever that thing is sitting on, it can keep it. At least until I get a rocket launcher. Both of those bees. Okay, that bee's gonna die, but the other bee that's on the left side is going to run away. I guarantee it. Off into the night, and we will never find him again. Until a thousand years later. Yeah, when we have one wounded unit. What is that resource I just claimed? Okay, it's a mineral and an energy. That's not bad. Oh! Oh my! Oh man! I think we just stumbled upon a party! <laughs> Let's go have a weird cultist party in the snow. This sounds like a great idea. What could possibly go wrong? That or we stumbled upon some kind of strange mating ritual. Oh no. Okay, well there's one of the bees that I've done damage to. Found him. <laughs> That's a lot of neophytes right there. Yeah, uh-huh. Thankfully, neophytes are one of the shittiest varieties of barbarian. They only really do a lot of damage if they ambush you. Ah. Uh. They do have the ability to, every other turn, ignore 50% of all incoming range damage, though. And that is annoying. I believe it. Hang on. Don't tell any of your... Oh, no, wait, never mind. You They're not in attacking range. Never mind. I should have gave the suck before the rest of my army moved up. I mean, after the rest of my army moved up. Possibly. That would have been smart. We got dogs on one side, bees on the other. I'm not having a great time here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the tank commander do, does a lot of damage to bees, though. Can't complain. It's good. Oh, I didn't know that they have lines for when they're allied with another race. Neither That's I. neat. I've never seen that. Then again, I guess I've only ever played one other game with an ally. And it was about ten turns. Yeah. But still, that's neat. The guard, One of my guardsmen just went, Oh, thank God the, the Space Marines are here. I'm afraid to click execute queued orders because I don't remember who I queued to do what, what order. Yep. Well, for me, it's oh, I never intentionally queue orders. It's always an accidental overwrite click. Right. You always have to go back to the unit and be like, no, 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 cancel that, cancel that. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, they're flanking us. Oh, man. Oh, man. The ass blasters oh, may have blasted their last ass. <laughs> Oh boy! The funkier monkeys! No! 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 We're being flanked! They were so funky! They were funkier than funky. Alright, well, I'll just order another set of them. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, tech priests. Hmm. I can't think of a funny name for these guys right now. I'll come back later. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Yeah. Guess they'll just kind of be milling around until I find a good city spot, but I've not found a good city spot yet. Let me go in front. I am the meat shield after all. <laughs> really? You're just going to steal the outpost right in front of me? Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Hot for Teacher has been running a campaign of his own on the side there. Yeah. Rambo over here, one-man army. <laughs> All right, big bayonets are us. Your job is to take the bullets. You've taken the bullets. Congratulations. Awesome. You have now taken more than the expected bullets. You'll be getting a demotion. <laughs> oh, you know what? I probably should have used that buff on the Space Marines instead of my Guardsmen. They'd be make better use of it. <laughs> the Space Marines are more than a little bit less stinky than Guardsmen.
Oh, this was a smart placement for the Wizard of Sock. I guess he'll pass the turn not doing anything. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. Oh, no, the, wait. Okay, never mind. This will work, actually. Give the Sock. Heal the goo. Heal the goo, guardsman. Feed the delicious cultist blood to the goo guardsman. B baby bird it to them. Wait a second. Oh my god, the tank commander can just run over people. It's more effective than shooting them. Nice. I don't know where these tech priests should go. Eventually they'll be able to build bastions and cities, but not yet. Not for a little bit. Oh, my Jacaro encampment! You pricks! That's messed up. Yeah, sure, that'll work. Oh, wait, my, my tank commander has a range of three, so he can just bombard the bastion from here. Oh, nice. Could very slowly tear it down that way. Let's see, yeah, these... The big bayonets are us are going to need some time to heal, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell them to do that. I nearly told acceptable losses to walk through the stinkweed that they're not that acceptable of losses. Oh. They're running away. The cowards. Unbelievable. The bacon. It's the bacon of fear. <laughs> oh, you pricks. Ow. Hang on. Now, uh, the Doctor of Sex... Yeah, the Doctor of Sex can finish off these Neophyte hybrids. Let him do it. Meanwhile, the Wizard of Sucks shall go ahead and heal the Goo Guardsmen and the, uh... Who is that? The Ass Blasters. There we go. The Ass Blasters live to blast another ass. Very nice. I'll slowly whittle down the Bastion some other day, but not today. Maybe once I get some more units that can do that. For now, it would just take too long. It'd be obnoxious. Hang on, what's the damage? The Servo Arm does... It's a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Not a tremendous amount. Better off not using them for that purpose, probably. Oh, the Doctor of Sex is leveled up. Excellent.
Gotcha. I'll be taking that shard of all, thank you very much. And killing that Eldar gate. Goodbye. If these guys, if these bees demand a melee fight, then a melee fight they'll get. I have nerds with axes. Oh wait, that's gonna be their name, nerds with axes. I like it. Whoops. You have officially earned a title, nerds with axes. Oh, what the hell? That's the same. So they get two different melee weapons. One is just flatly better than the others? I don't get it. Interesting. But they can't attack with both in the same turn. Mm. Bizarre. Just a, just a bit. All right, we need rocks and plenty of them. What on earth can I attack? Oh, that thing. Yeah, screw it, sure. Okay, now let's see how these arms work. Do they, do they have a cooldown? They have a cooldown of one turn. I don't see what, why you would ever choose to use the axes then. That's curious. Yeah. Alright, we are free of another set of bees with guns. Awesome. Yeah, no, they have a pretty good coverage of the west side of the map now. Yeah, we, we carved out a nice little corner for ourselves. Yeah. I think I'm just going to have to settle on a suboptimal spot, though. I don't know, I'm kind of liking where that bastion is in the northwest. I might take that if I can get some units over there to kill it first. If it's got minerals and a shard of vol, both in reach, that'd probably be a pretty good vehicle production city. Let's see. Oh, we got... Yep, a new unit of guardsmen. I know what I'm going to name these. Nice, nice. There we go. Now with that new unit of guardsmen out, we are now back to generating only a mild amount of, mon of food. Hmm, extraction quotas, that does sound good. Oh, the Basilisk. Okay, yeah, I'm going for the Basilisk. As soon as I get vehicles online, the Basilisk is going to be good. That's one of the best units the Guard has access to. It is good. Good, good, good. I will shoot you from the other side of the planet. It will be great. <laughs> not, not you specifically, you generally. Yeah.
There's three Imperial Guard strategies, really. I will throw mounds upon mounds of dudes at you, and I don't care how many casualties I take as long as you go down first. Or, I'm going to throw so many tanks at you that you could not even imagine. Or, I'm just going to shoot at you from the other side of the map and hope that I can kill you before you get here. <laughs> All right. Whoopsie doodles. Did not mean to do that. There goes another webway gate. That would suck if there were any Eldar here. City, how are you doing? That's quite an idyllic little city, actually. Not bad at all. Let's produce a captain. Kind of a nice little jungle place. Oh, yeah. Looks the complete opposite of where I got my city set up. <laughs> yeah, in the Arctic and the desert. Yeah. Oh, dogs. A lot of dogs. Boy, there are a lot of Imperial Bastions on the map. Ordinarily, you only see like one, maybe two, but this is three or four now. Sheesh. All right, funkiest monkeys, you step up and take the bullets so that the Wizard of Sucks can move in and suck the building. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of damage against... Ooh. Okay, do you see the Bastion, Pink? On the left to the Wizard of Sucks there? Yeah. Yeah. Observe. Oh my. Oh. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Against a building at least. <laughs> Got it down to almost half health already. I'm sending in the nerds. They're going to be peeling up the screws. Gonna be making this thing structurally unsound! Live in fear. Ow! Just, just pop my hip a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and then the dogs appear. And then they disappear just as quickly as they <laughs> appeared. And they did a quick cameo and then they were gone. Yeah. That's a lot of umbras. Oh, wow. Oh, goddamn bees. Why? Why now? Alright, well, there's only one rational response to these bees. Give them the suck. Indeed. Boy, I have not expanded the population cap once in my city. I think I'm working on that right now, actually. 
Uh, yeah, my dormitories will be constructed in four turns. And will finally yes. be able to grow larger than a population of seven. Yep, same problem over here. I can get a lot of work done with seven, okay? Oh, and the bees have disappeared. And goodbye, Bastion. The city belongs to me now. Well, it, sh it, soon will, it soon will be my city. Not quite just yet. Let's see what we've got in the surrounding real estate. Oh, we got dogs! Oh, no. I love dogs! We might have three good resources in easy access, though. That could be quite good. I appreciate that I, I named a guardsman unit acceptable losses. And yet I've had to replace the funky monkeys twice now. Oh, does Hoffer Teacher have the ability to heal himself? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. I thought he could. I was confused why he is suddenly coming back to fighting the dogs yet again, now healthy. I had him healing on a tile, a fortress tile. Ah. All right, boys, don't worry. The Wizard of Suck has got you. He's going to feed you croup dog blood. What? Oh, boy. What kind of establishment are we running here? Oh my god, the tank commander can wipe out an entire squad of dogs from full health to zero by running them over. Oh man. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> that, that is horrible to imagine. The dude's just in a tank to directing them to run over each dog and it's just ba bump ba bump. <laughs> it's horrible. However, they are crew hounds. They are a menace, and I will shed no tears for them. That is true. I speak to true true. I need to build more buildings that provide influence and power, because I'm making zero power per turn and negative two influence per turn. Yep, heroes are really good, but they cost influence quite a bit. Oh, yeah. That's a, that, that seems like a amount of dogs where Hot for Teacher may want to start considering the uh, virtue of discretion. Yeah. Oh, goddamn cultists.
So I guess if you're hidden in the trees, Overwatch does not proc. Uh, trees shorten attack range. Ah, so that's why the Bastion isn't able to smack him back. Yeah. Works for me. This sounds unfair for them, and I like it. <laughs> that's my favorite kind of fair. Okay, who would we do better to light on fire? The dogs or the cultists? <laughs> Spanish Inquisition, circa 1540. <laughs> I'll light the dogs on fire. With my brain! Okay, wait a second. Oh. Ooh. This city might have access. Okay, it wouldn't be able to take in all of them. But it would have access to the boosts. The terror... The boosts surrounding... This is a good city spot. I mean, it's desert again, which is unfortunate, but other than that, this is a good city spot. We got a shard of all, we got minerals, we got a grox pasture. I don't even know what that is, but I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, hang on, I can see. Oh, the surrounding tiles tell me it's a research. It's a ruins of all. Eh, I don't want one of those, not so much. Re books are for nerds. I'm not a nerd. Right. I'm a man. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, popula underpopulation is starting to be a problem for me. I am seeing build times go up. Okay, let's see. What would be the best place to put down my second city, then? What would be... Have easy access to that, to that, to that. And it could... Yeah, okay. I'm founding my second city! Awesome. Jenison has been founded. That will definitely be renamed. That will not be called Jenison in the future. <laughs> Let's see. What resource do we want to expand to first? Minerals sound good, but that shard of all is calling my name. That would have a variety of uses. Oh, we're going to need more minerals, though, if we're going to be investing in this many cities. I suppose the first thing we're going to invest in, though, is really probably should be the Labor core, which provides ore and research. So we're going to want to go for a tile with ore, which is going to be that tile. There you go. Now, I've been joking about directing the blood into the from the cultists' mouths into the from the cultists into the guardsmen's mouths. What's the opposite reaction to that? What do you think of the guy next to you when he says, "Ah, oh, yeah, them wizards is weird, but I really like the like the blood we get from them cultists." What? <laughs> Just makes me feel better. Can't put words to it. How disturbing. It doesn't matter where you're going in the fog of war, there's more dogs waiting for you. Always. Hmm. That's a lot of doggos right there. Oh boy. Four doggos. Uh, the ass blasters may have finally blasted their last ass. Last ass. <laughs> I 
Hang on, we might be able to run saving private Aster Blast, Ass Blaster, whatever. You get the idea. <laughs> oh, nope. It didn't work. No! The movement speed boost did nothing. There will be more Croot Hounds ready. for teachers at level three. Oh, now he's got the level three hotness for the oh, teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the level where you should start getting frightened. Oh my god, I'm not sure there's a text limit on the name you can make for cities. <laughs> I'm keeping that name, though. <laughs> the Ass Blasters have blasted their last asses. No. They will be avenged. As if in response to me saying they will be avenged, I just got a notification. Hey, you just got artillery! <laughs> Revenge from a distance. Oh, my captain is ready. Excellent. The tank commander... When you look at the tank commander, the commander is actually sticking out the top of the tank, right? He's got the hatch open, he's up, out, like, from the waist up, he's outside the tank, right? Yeah. One of his little dynamic texts that he just said was, What do you mean, get inside? I need to see. <laughs> Oh, now that's an interesting name for a research tech. Breeding licenses. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, doggy. How are there more dogs? There's so many dogs out here. It's Run them over. I no longer think this is sus. <laughs> oh, scorpions. If memory serves, those are some very angry scorpions. Absolutely. Oh, no. Hey there, Ambles. Oh, hey, I was seeing those a while ago. They heal a lot and they're heavily armored. It's cool. I don't think I like that. That's unfortunate, because they like you! <laughs> Holy crap, I've had McMahon camped out in this fortress out here for like a decade now, and I forgot about him. Vince got exiled there out of, by Triple H. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, time to get to work on our first labor core. That a building exciting. that produces buildings. What will they think of next? Boy, we have seen hide nor hair of the AI players. Yeah. This either means they are having a very rough time with barbs or having a very rough time with each other, and I'm not sure which is more frightening. Oof. Just now... Hang on a second, Pink. What's going on? You have not named El Capitan. No, I have not. Can I say, it just now occurred to me, we've been playing for a uh, little under three hours, and we have not yet got a desync. This is true. So we've got that. Gladius has that over Civ, at the very least. This is true. Ooh, there's a lot of items to go through here. Oh, you did you just open up the store? Yeah. Yeah, I, I really I really like the items at the bottom. The Scrolls of Magnus is just a free six research, just by owning the item and keeping it on a character. The tantalizing icon is a free six influence that just keep it on your character, which for the majority of heroes is just going to pay for the hero outright. Yeah, I, I should get that right now. The other one I'd recommend you look at real quick is there is one item that's around the t the icon of Magnus, the, the scrolls of Magnus icon, tantalizing icon. There's one that when you use it, it just gives you a free level. And that one's really good to just throw it on, buy a bunch of those and throw them all on the chaplain, forcibly level them up to level 6, and get a free 6 loyalty in your city. Ah. But yeah, of course the tantalizing icon is really good for making it so that your heroes don't actually cost here, uh, influence upkeep. I should actually be looking into doing that on my heroes. I should also be looking into shelling out for the Scrolls of Magnus because my research has been really slow. I've been good about building heroes this game. I'm usually pretty bad about getting heroes out quickly. But I've been bad about going to the Jakaro store and buying my uh, stuff that is really good on heroes. By the way, do you know what the Jakaro are? No. Hyper-intelligent, though they can't speak, hyper-intelligent orangutans. Oh, man. Did you just get an, Did you just get a notification for Chaos Space Marines? Oh boy. Uh no, I did not. Well, there's a Chaos Space Marine giant robot dog attacking Helms. Mauler friend. Oh, Mauler friend rather. <laughs> yeah. So I okay, I'm glad someone else always misreads it as Mauler friend. <laughs> Which is a much better name for it. Oh, Mauler friend, why? Okay, it's time for Tank Commander to go shopping. Do we have a... What's the size of the parking spaces here at the Jacaro Shopping Center? <laughs> K. 
Kind of does almost look like it would have a parking lot, though, doesn't it? Yeah. You go in there, but rather than the usual shopper attendance things, of like, you know, we're having a sale on whatever, you just hear on the intercom, hoo, hoo, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You still haven't named El Capitan. Yeah, I, I need to do that real quick. Hang on. Where is he? Where is he? Down by the shop. Hello, Captain. Time to time to be reborn. Hmm. What what is a good name? What is a good name? For a man of authority such as this, what is a name that brings authority, Pink? Why? Hmm. Hmm. What What if we called him? And since there shouldn't be a character limit. This is, of course, Karma Chameleon. <laughs> Oh, I just executed somebody's order somewhere. <laughs> Somebody did something. Uh, what? <laughs> Where? It's been done. Huh? Stupid brain squids. Truly the worst. Well, that, the Mauler friend seems angry. The Mauler friend, yeah, he just ran over a man. <laughs> the Mauler friend, as a matter of fact, does exactly what it says on the box. <laughs> Who knew? Alright, it's actually time for this space marine to vacate the premises. It's time to go shopping. Let's see, what is it? Oh, right, they added that item, the Uncreator Gauntlet. That just got added, like, last week as a new item in the shop. Huh? For healing friendly vehicles and buildings. Forbidden Knowledge, there we go. That's the name of the item that you buy it, and it increases your level. Which, come to think of it, what's the... Oh, I can't see what the tank commander gets at level 6. That's unfortunate. I'll see it eventually. But I'm going to shell out for the tantalizing icon. Ooh, plus 8 influence. That's very big. That's much bigger than what I'm currently paying. Hang on, what... So I have... Huh, okay. Whoa, damn it! Oh! I just bought the wrong item. Ah! I guess who's the proud new owner of an uncreator gauntlet? Oh, is it you? It's me. Oh man! I guess his items go. I could have bought a worse one on accident, because at the very least, this guy can probably use it to heal himself. But still. I wonder if the mic picked up my hand hitting my forehead. <laughs> I'm going back and researching some of the earlier text so I can get some of the later text that I can't get now. Yeah, there's a certain point you hit, definitely. I should probably by now go back and get frag grenades on guardsmen, because they would actually be quite good, considering the amount of guardsmen I have. But I'm committed to getting to the end of the tech tree first. <laughs> oh boy, what is that? It's a demon that prince. A question. That's a demon! A demon prince? Okay, then. Finn Balor.
I'm going to be honest with you, Chapel Land. You're a little bit out of your league here. Just a bit. All right, Motley Crue. Vacate the premises. You know, I'm glad I remember to go shopping. If only I'd bought the correct thing. <laughs> Yeah, that looks right. It is time to research the dreadnought. It's a robo casket. Seems like we've got a big lake in the center of the map here. It's looking that way. Oh, multiple demon princes. I don't like the sounds of that. They really don't care about gunfire, apparently. They spit on your pitiful gun power, gunfire. Yeah. Dewey, Dewey. Okay, it appears the tank commander can use the uncreator gauntlet on himself, so at the very least there's that. It's funny, though, because he turns backwards to face himself. That's interesting. <laughs> Fun fact, vehicles don't like forests. Oh. Alright, Shane, you would do no damage, so let's see if we can't retreat. Oh my god, two demon princes, a mauler friend, and a helper. It's not looking fun up there. The demon prince is also blessed by Nurgle. So he's even tougher. That's not good. Uh, he's got a lot of abilities. Uh. This chaos it seems bad. Just a wee bit. Where did those guys come from? Oh, wait, those are my guys. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Shane! 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 No! Greg and Shane have both died. Helms has just been left sadly alone. <laughs> I want to keep scouting north, but now I'm worried I'm going to run into a demon. 
right? This seems bad. Risks, risks here, yes. Lehman Russ Battle Tank. Yes, I will take that. I believe I can fly. You can tell the AI is serious because they're not giving their units goofy names. Oh, that's where we messed up. Yeah. We are re reducing the unit's power by giving it a silly name. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut this recording.